armies barely managed to drive me back. You think you'll be able to face me without them? The Force is not my only ally. Shay Vizsla? Wouldn't miss a fight this good. Bring as many fools as you like. You won't stop what must be done. You don't know what you're doing. The Emperor is too powerful. No, not any longer. I have set my will against this creature for centuries. Only I can destroy him. But you aren't Revan. Who else could do what I've done? Who else would have the strength to come this far? I am Revan, and I will complete the work I started so long ago. Take a step back. Look at what you're doing. You're only going to make the Emperor stronger. This is what he wants. Don't you see that? You understand nothing. I know his mind better than anyone living. I know what must be done. Can't you see what you've become? Your hatred and regrets are consuming you. My own flesh and blood standing against me. The depths of his corrupting influence are endless. I will waste no more time. This must end now! This will be the end of you! Galaxy's fate. Let's go, people. You cannot deny me. It is over for you, Revan. Keep fighting. My destiny! This is my destiny.
are sealing the galaxy's fate. Don't let up! Galaxy's fate. Let's go, people. the force. Impossible! 
The ritual hasn't even begun. The deaths you've caused. The war you fueled. It is all mine. This galaxy is mine. It's time. I claim it once more. Is everyone all right? We're fine. That was him. The Emperor. We stopped Revan. How is that possible? He did not assume a physical form or possess a body, and he left as soon as he appeared. None of it makes sense. Still packs a punch. <laughs> the General is entirely misinformed, Eminence. A few coats of paint, and I'll be ready for the Lunar Gala. Looks like we weren't the only survivors. might be able to tell us more about what's happened. I've failed. As have I. So many centuries. The Emperor and his dread masters trying to wrench me apart, to unleash my anger and hatred. I detach myself from the pain, focus on the Force. You hid behind Jedi platitudes. You weren't strong enough to survive the torture or the battle in the Foundry. I faced them! I survived them! You've carried on, dragging the remains of a body that should have long since faded to dust. Hatred fueled cunning, but burned out all wisdom. Without me, you could not see. Strength is useless without wisdom to guide it. We need to repair what the Emperor has done. I am whole again, but there is much to do. The Emperor has returned. Steel yourselves against what will come. Let's get back to base camp. He was right. We have a lot to do. Your actions are confusing, at the least. I don't appreciate being left in the dark. Does the Supreme Commander share these concerns, Chancellor? He does not, but that is hardly... The two of us have been fighting this war for quite some time now. We know what we're doing, and we appreciate your trust in us. Just as I'll appreciate being informed when your fleet is back in position. So right out. I guess ignoring the boss runs in the family. Ignoring Suresh is always a good idea. Never knew you were so political. Our forces are preparing to launch. I should make sure ours are ready to do the same. It's strange. The next time we meet, our circumstances will be... quite different. Well, don't take it personally, but I'm hoping that you'll never see me again. <laughs> and I'll hope that I do. I'm gonna see if Satil needs any help. Catch me later.
Well, our time has come, even sooner than I'd feared. Revan is gone. We've accomplished what we set out to do. But now we have an entirely new problem, and no truce to face it. We've shown that it's possible to ignore our differences. Maybe there's hope for a real treaty. Despite our work here, trust is still in short supply. We can thank the Revanites for that. What's next for the illustrious Jedi? It sounded as though your Grand Master is about to become quite busy. If you were to abandon the Sith, I imagine I'd be busy teaching you our ways. I'm afraid that won't be possible. I'm not at all sure what my future holds. But the future doesn't have to start for a while yet. For now, I'd like to make the most of the present. There's nothing I'd like more. I'm going to miss you. Give me a call if you ever want to change sides. You'll be the first to know. The Imperials are leaving a small force of volunteers behind to watch any further activity from the Revanites or the Emperor. We'll be doing the same. As it happens, Jakaro and I have received several lucrative business offers. Various acquaintances made on Rishi, nothing to concern yourselves with. That being said, we have sincerely enjoyed our time with you and would gladly provide our services again at any time. Why go work with someone else? I'd be happy to have you stick around and join my crew. A tempting offer! Farewell! There's more for us to discuss. Your work against Revan and his followers has been truly exceptional. And your expertise in combating the Emperor is second to none. You embody every ideal in the Jedi Code. The Council is unanimous in its decision to name you Battlemaster of the Order. As Battlemaster, your strategic insights will guide the Council's decisions, and you will share your lightsaber skills with the Order's most promising students. But most important of all, you will lead the charge against the Sith Emperor, along with any who choose to follow him. I am honored to be chosen for this role in the Order. I will do everything I can to fulfill my duties with wisdom and skill. With your help, I believe we can finally bring an end to the Emperor's assaults on the galaxy. We're attempting to calculate where the Emperor might have gone, but we don't know enough about his capabilities to determine anything for sure. While we get the task force up and running, we're going to need you out there acting on your own. Follow every lead you can find. And remember, the threat of the Empire remains. They will not hesitate to use this situation to gain an advantage over us. Until the Emperor is destroyed for good, the entire galaxy is in danger. We must be ready. Do you require medical attention? Be well.
Republic call sign Aurignet. Hey, finally. Farron, are you all right? That would be a negative, Master Jedi. I'm in Imperial space over Zyost. Tried to slip in, help out my ground team, but I used the wrong set of clearance codes and shields are low. Focus on getting yourself to safety, then we'll talk. No, you really need to hear what I have to say. I was getting reports, demented soldiers, slave and civilian populations under fire. I had suspicions of what it meant, but I wasn't sure. I sent a team in dark to investigate, maybe handle it. But it's all gone out of control now. I think it's him, the Emperor. I'll be there as soon as I can. You hang on, then. Yeah, I'm trying. Sending through the right set of clearance codes along the coordinates to meet my... <laughs> I'm hit! You gotta land this thing! Don't come looking for me, I'll... Theron! Theron, come in! You survived. Report your ailments. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Do you require medical attention? What can I get for you? Come back anytime. See anything you like? Come again. Every time I see you return from a mission, I thank the Maker I wasn't designed for combat.
You survived. Hazardous services. Approved for Class 9 unstable isotopes and species neutral catastrophic pathogens. You aren't carrying any of those around. You don't have a clearance information. You don't even think about what's going on here. Like I'd tell you if I did. I can feel your presence, Vishyan. My little insect. No doubt here to drone and flutter once more. Dromon Cass, the Yavin Moon. It must not be clear to you yet. There is nothing you can do to stop me. That's all I can. Seeing you, it's like visiting with a forgotten friend. I'm oddly pleased you're here. You'll bear witness to a world's end if you survive long enough. He's gone. I can... I can finally... More of you already. I suppose I should be flattered.
So my senses haven't betrayed me. It really is you. Lana Bonico. You don't belong here, Jedi. You shouldn't have come. It's nice to see a friendly face. I missed you. I'm going to avert a mass catastrophe while keeping the most powerful mind in the galaxy out of my head. I, I can't think about that. That Jedi whose mind was not his own, he belonged to Sixth Line. Sixth Line? I've never heard of it. They're a team of Jedi commandos working in secret for the SIS. They follow their own addendum to the Jedi Code, hence the name. There is no contemplation. There is only duty. A great point of view, so long as they're working for you. Pardon the interruption. I sent a probe droid to look into that crash shuttle, Minister Benico. It's empty. Agent Kovach, this is the former ally I've mentioned. Right now, we all want the same thing, so I suggest we work together. He called you Minister? Yes, he did. We know Theron Shon was on that shuttle, and we know he's responsible for the Sixth Line being on Zyos in the first place. So far, Theron has only added to our troubles. He'd better not be here to cause any more. Theron's here to stop the Emperor. Same as me. Vishit is not our Emperor. Not anymore. As you've witnessed, Vishit is taking hold of an increasing number of soldiers and Sith. His goal continues to be the accumulation of power. Agent. The dark side is strong on Zyost. Using the outpost's resources, our former Emperor can massacre the defenseless to fuel him. The more powerful he becomes, the more people he can control. He will keep on killing until nothing's left. Yes, I'm on my way. I'm needed everywhere all at once. I've already lingered too long. Agent Kovach has a plan to help down the bloodshed. Agent? After the Yavin event, I was sent here to infiltrate Sith intelligence. I work for Theron Shan. In fact, we were supposed to meet up here. If you know where he is, now would be the time to say so. I haven't been able to reach him. Not since the crash. Best not to think about that now, I guess. The outpost armory. It's wide open right now. Anyone can get in there. We need to lock it down. Then point the way. I'm on it.
Star of the Sith. You sure cleared a path out there. That's good. But it's bad, too. Each time a pawn's killed, Vitiate gets a little bit stronger. Not as much as when they kill, but... Well, that's what Minister Benico says, anyway. So we have to stop them without killing them? Or we destroy Vitiate. Not that anyone seems to know how to do that. company. Almost there. Master Soro, sixth line commander. This one's my favorite so far. Even now, she struggles. You know, she's done some terrible things in the Republic's name. This is between us. Let her go. Let them all go. You overestimate your impact, Jedi. When this world turns to red, and you choke on torrents of blood, remember that this was your chance to flee. A chance I... gave! There is no... contemplation. There is only... duty. We're wasting time here. The armory's safe. 
You go ahead. I'll be close behind. Other emergency facilitators like myself. We will direct you to the net evacuation site.
evacuation site. Remain calm and wait for the next available shuttle at the designated landing site. I can confirm it. The defenses are down. Between those weapons and the armory, a lot of the killing power is out of their hands now. Should be able to start evacuation efforts as well. The fewer potential targets on Zyast, the better. Hope you haven't had too much fun without me. Perfect timing. We could use the help. Try to get here sooner, but, you know, met a little resistance on the way. Sir... I thought it would be wise to disclose my role in all this, so I did. I hope that's all right. Sure, of course. Saves us the trouble of play-acting our way into an alliance in front of someone we can trust. You look a little worse for wear, Theron. Yeah, tell me about it. The way things are out there, I can't believe I even made it this far. As soon as I crash-landed, the Emperor's puppets started coming for my shuttle, just like that. Maybe figured on some easy kills inside. Did the only thing I could think of. Rigged the ship to overload, fry everything in and around it. Tried to shield myself, but still scrambled half my implants. And that stopped the attack? They went down, yeah. Some of them got back up, but they seemed out of it. Not possessed. Dazed. Intrusion! Vitiate's pawns! I have a thought. Be ready for anything. That was a... a nightmare. What? Is that what this was? Some kind of gutless Jedi mind trick? Go. Get somewhere safe if you can. So now we know. Shock them unconscious and the tie is severed. Well, for a while, at least. Hit enough of them hard enough and they'll be out for a good long while. Yeah, but how do we do that? I have some ideas. I need to consult the new Adasta municipal systems. You gonna need a hand with that? Some backup? No. I'll be in touch. Kovach has been amazing. I just wanted eyes and ears inside Sith intelligence, and he gets himself saddled up next to Lana. Lana Nico, Minister of Sith Intelligence. <laughs> Who'd have thought it, right? When I met her on Manon, she was in over her head. Seemed to be. She may be an enemy of the Republic, but you and I both know she'll stand with us against the Emperor. I sure hope so. Eh, who am I to judge anyway? I should never have sent my team here. I made a bad situation worse, and now... And now I've got a priority holocall. Great. You've been busy, Agent Sean. Chancellor. An off-the-books mission to Zyost. A secret team of Jedi that... I don't even know where to start with you about them. Everything's happened so fast, you don't realize... No, I do realize. I realize that you declined to inform me of a prime opportunity to cripple the Empire.
Empire and face the Emperor head on. We're taking advantage of the chaos on Zyost, starting with New Adasta. I expect your cooperation. Wait, please, before you send the order. You don't seem to understand, Agent Sean. There's nothing to argue. Our ships are in orbit. The invasion's already begun.